Hello everybody, welcome back to B Pharma Wise. Today we are going to learn nomenclature for carboxylic acids. Now you know for carboxylic acids, carboxylic as the name suggests, carbonyl and hydroxyl are the two groups present in the functional group of carboxylic acid. This is the functional group for carboxylic acid. There is carbonyl group and then there is hydroxyl group. So when you ca combine carbonyl with hydroxyl, you get carboxyl functional group. Now for nomenclature of carboxylic acids, in a common system, uh, there are some names in common system. I will tell you the first member of carboxylic acid family is HCOOH. Hmm? where hydrogen is there instead of alkyl group. Hmm? Then we will have CH3COOH, hmm? second member. Then CH2CH3 means ethyl and carboxylic acid. Then we will have CH3CH2CH2COOH. Now in common systems, there are particular names for these compounds. The name for this first compound is formic acid now as you can see IC acid is going to be the suffix for common system of nomenclature now this is acetic acid acetic acid again you can see IC acid is the suffix then we have one two three carbon containing derivative of acid and it will be called as propionic acid here again, IC acid is going to be the suffix for acid, propionic acid. Huh? Then for this one, two, three, four, four carbon containing, it will be butyric acid. Now these names you have to remember as it is, butyric acid. Again, you can see IC acid is the suffix. So this is how the common names were derived. Okay. Uh, but nowadays we are relying on the IUPAC system. So let's discuss how we are going to derive the names in IUPAC system for carboxylic acids. So what we are going to do is we go are going to consider the names as alkanoic acids. So we will be consider the parent alkane in this case. Now the parent alkane for this particular compound, I will write the IUPAC names here only. Okay. So this is HCOOH and the parent for this is going to be methane because there is only one carbon. Hmm? So methane is going to be my parent methane. So E of that will be replaced by OIC acid. So the names become methanoic acid. E of alkane is replaced by OIC acid. So the name becomes alkanoic acid in this case methanoic acid. Similarly, come here. Here there are two carbon atoms. So parent must be ethane. So the name becomes ethanoic acid. Hmm? E of ethane, ethane, E of ethane is replaced by OIC acid. Come down. One, two, three. Now as you can see, all the COH groups are always terminal. Hmm? So no need to write one as a locant for functional group. One, two, three, three carbon containing alkane is propane. So the name is going to be baga propane E OIC acid. E is replaced by OIC acid. There is a slight difference in the names. Propionic acid is the common name. Propanoic acid is the IUPAC name. Hmm? So the derivative of propane where E of propane is replaced by OIC acid becomes the IUPAC name for this compound. Similarly, for 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon containing derivative, the name will be butane and E is replaced by OIC acid. So it becomes butanoic acid. This is how we are going to derive the IUPAC names. Now let's consider some other examples like CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, COOH. What we are going to do for this? we will be applying our common rules for IUPAC and uh, as you can see it is a terminal functional group so obviously we have to start numbering the longest chain from this end one two three four four carbon containing 
parent alkene is butane so this is a derivative of butanoic acid and on third carbon there is a methyl substitution and substitutions we always write as prefixes so how we are going to write at third there is methyl so i will write three methyl and then there is four carbon parent butane and its acid so it will become three methyl butanoic acid now for carboxylic acids it is allowed in the iupac systems to write two word name otherwise we have to write only one name for acids and acid derivatives it is allowed to write two word name in iupac okay just remember it uh so yeah this is how we are going to give common names and iupac names to carboxylic acids i hope you have understood and i also have other nomenclature videos for other organic compounds i will link the playlist in the description box please check it out and keep watching b pharma wise i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye